So this is Dramik, my currently work in pro progress, but almost finished analog drum machine. So let's quickly uh, run to uh, the features it has. It is um, fully programmable. It has four sounds, a kick drum, a snare drum, a hi-hat and claps. And each sound is separately programmable uh, using a 16 step sequencer uh, through these uh, 16 switches. Um, it has adjustable tempo from 20 to 220 BPM. Um, uh, it currently does not feature any storage whatsoever. Uh, I did use an Arduino, so it would be easy to implement. Um, uh, but um, I'm still a bit dabbling with the front panel controls. I don't have that many controls. Uh, again, this is the tempo knob right here. Um, this button starts and stops the rhythm, this button selects the current sound you're editing and this button sets the uh, rhythm you have set here with the switches. Now the only switch that does nothing currently is this switch right here. That is, uh, yeah, it is connected but um, I didn't have a functionality for it at the moment. So maybe this will become storage when like switch it on and then you can send like select storage slot 1, set it, or storage slot 5, um, maybe something like that, or or it's going to be a switch for uh, setting all time signatures, um, which I think I prefer, because I love dabbling with all time signatures, and since this is 16 steps, you could easily uh, do like um, like 12 for 3 4 rhythms, or go like 15 16 or um, uh, 9 8 uh, 7 8 you can do all sorts of things so um, you could like set uh, like uh, okay this is where the steps stop so you have one two three four five six eight nine steps and then it um, goes back to one again maybe something like that um, so yeah again it's not entirely finished yet it's all working uh, as you could um, see and hear in the demonstration but there's still some features i want to add another one is midi uh, there's an empty port here uh, which i hope i can fit a midi connector in or else a different kind of connector with a breakout cable uh, for midi and well, if I'm going to use the breakout cable, I, uh, I'm also going to add like external triggers. There's also some empty connectors still on the back, which I also can use for triggers. So still plenty of possibilities to expand uh, the functionality of this thing. Um, of course, you might be wondering what this case exactly is. It's quite a pretty case. Uh, it has these fake wood um, steel enclosures. And of course, uh, nice uh, big red lights and uh, cool switches. So um, this was something I spotted in the second hand store. Uh, it was a Wolfson VHF receiver of sorts, I think. Um, I have a teardown video on my channel. Um, and I just saw it and I was like, this is a drum machine. <laughs> this is... This <laughs> There's no other way, uh, I'm not gonna make a drum machine out of this, so, and so I did. And I'm very happy I did, because I'm very uh, happy with how this thing works, what it, especially what it sounds like. It's, um, I've already used it in a couple recordings now, a couple songs, um, which I will eventually release. And uh, I just, mm, I love it. So speaking of the sounds, um, well, uh, like I said before, the Arduino takes care of the programming and the controls, but also sends four trigger signals to the fully analog circuitry. The sound generation is fully analog, um, and uh, they're all custom design. Uh, I did of course uh, inspire my designs from certain things uh, like the uh, kick drum is heavily based on the Roland TR-808 kick drum um, noise circuits I used are by R. Anderson uh, which is a really neat little transistor noise design um, but other than that uh, it's it's all custom um, all by my own design 
There is a link in the description below to the uh, web page uh, for this project and um, I have the schematics all on there and the code as well. So if you want to build this yourself, well, you can go right ahead. Uh, it's all open source. I'm curious what the next video is going to be. Going to be a very modified Yamaha PS3.